Hey everybody, this is Ross. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a garden bed the quickest way that I know possible. This is gonna be great for those of you out there who are getting a very, uh, just a very late start to the season. Or if you're like me and you're you know, predicting some doomsday apocalypse scenarios and you wanna prepare. Um, I certainly here am getting a bit fearful. I was originally going to grow in a 30 by 30 plot at the community garden. I was gonna make some friends, have a great time. I was really looking forward to it, but I've decided because there is some potential for a possible depression here in the US, um, for possibly some inflation, um, even hyperinflation. I figure I need to grow as much food as possible for me and my family, and there's no better place to do it than here at home. So this is the key to the whole method here, guys, which is this roll of paper. It's quite similar to cardboard. You can pick it up at Home Depot or Lowe's for a very affordable price. Um, and it's quite a long roll. I think it's 140 feet. And what this will enable me to do is create a garden bed on top of the existing soil. Because what this cardboard is going to do is actually block out the grass, block out the weeds, and kill all that underneath. This paper will also compost down encourage soil insects like worms to come in and help uh, fertilize my bed. And then on top of this will go my soil, my compost that's really well um, broken down, that has a lot of nutrients in it, that's gonna provide these seedlings with enough uh, nutrition so that once this paper then quickly breaks down and kills all the grass underneath, I'll actually have myself a complete bed. Um, so this is the big issue, right? is that if I didn't have this paper, I'd have to take this shovel and I'd have to dig up all the sod and then I would put down all my compost. But now I'm preventing with the help of this paper and adding in some nice benefit by having um, not only the sod break down and turn into compost, but the paper break down and turn into compost. Also encouraging all those soil insects to come in. Um, we're gonna have a great successful garden this way. So let's get on to this. I'm gonna roll this out, you're gonna see exactly how quick this is. I think I'm gonna stop about here and then I'm gonna take my knife or scissors and we're just gonna cut this cardboard or this paper I should call it. I'm gonna throw some rocks on top, it doesn't blow away. And now I'm going to repeat this process once again. The last thing left to do is just to dump our soil on top. All right guys, so a big tip here is actually to take these big clumps and break them apart. Uh, what we need to do now is actually spread this out, get ourselves a nice firm seed bed so that we can uh, seed directly into this. And then we also need to have about, roughly about two inches of soil. Uh, the more the better, obviously. But find yourself, if you guys are looking at this stuff at the store, like Home Depot or something, find an organic compost that's really high quality uh, that's well broken down. That is the key. It needs to be really well broken down. Small particles. You don't want big, big pieces in it because that's a sign that it's not well broken down. Spread this out, firm it down, and you're going to have a successful garden. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, it's really all that simple. Um, if you're interested and you want to see more videos on our garden, how it's going to go this year, Stay tuned on the channel. Uh, we do a lot of videos on fruit trees and perennials. So if you're interested and wanna grow fruit trees, check us out. Uh, so all you guys out there who are loyal fans, please share this video. Subscribe, check us out on our blog, figboss.com. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, I wish you guys are safe and have a great successful growing season. 
Take care, everybody.